So I'm leaving Starbucks right now, y'all. It's cold as heck out here. You see, I got the cozy attire on today. Ooh, nice and hot. But look, y'all, today I'm going somewhere I ain't never been before. Today, I'm about to go to a farm show. I'm a black dude from the DMV. I don't know nothing about the farm animals, none of that stuff, but I heard they got some good food at the farm show. So I'm gonna zoom two hours out there and we gonna see how they do it at these farm shows, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I ain't even know farm shows existed, bro. Like, who in they right mind? It's like, let's go to a farm and have a show. You feel me? It's a hundred Alright y'all, so I'm here right now in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania And I had to run back to the car real quick, bro Cause it's so cold, bro Like way too cold I gotta throw the mind cleasy skeezy on If you know what I mean Because this, bro This is detrimental temperatures out this motherfucker I feel like I'm about to be the only black person out this junk, bro It's way too cold Way too brisk out here, bro can't handle it. Not gonna lie to you. Food better be righteous. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm hopping on the shuttle, y'all. I ain't walking in the cold. Bro. Freezing out there. All right, y'all. I'm off the shuttle, and I ain't going lie. Look, you see, it's packed out here. Apparently, bro, this farm show is a big thing. You feel me? Like I said, I ain't never heard of nothing like this before. But we gonna see what's up with it. Who would think all these people like farm shows, bro? Damn, it smell like a farm in this joint. Not gonna lie to y'all. We gonna see what's up. They got Jimmy Buffett in this joint. All right, y'all, let's see if this place is worth the hype. So I'm currently in the milking station, if you know what I mean. Fat ass udders, bro. Look at that. Sheesh. Veiny tits. And you know that shit unpasteurized. My man got wrinkles and cellulite all over his shit. Damn. And some of these guys, they look flustered. Look at them. Look how sad he's looking, bro. Look at the pain in his eyes, bro. Y'all, this one right here is pregnant. You feel me? It's got babies up in it. One day it's gonna drop them babies. And them babies is gonna become ground beef. That's, that's, that's what happens. Damn! Y'all, look at my man right here just chilling. Bobbing out, what's up with you? Bro, y'all see how he's looking at me? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That shit got the horns and shit. I had to walk away from him. Y'all look at him draining his tits. Look at him. Damn. That's how milk is made, y'all. What they do is they take that device, they put it on his nipples, and they drain the tits. You feel me? It's unpasteurized right now, but that's how milk is made. You can see the milk going up the tubes, y'all. Damn. Bro, imagine how much pressure is on that cow's titties right now, bro. Like, I feel bad for that cow. Like on some real stuff. It's just sitting there depressed, getting his titties drained. Y'all, look how sad this is. Look, these sheeps right here, bro. The sheep is bald, bro. And then they got a sign right here, bro. Look at the sign. The sign is basically telling you to come shop. They selling wool and they selling gyros, bro. It's sad, bro. It's cold as hell outside, so I know they feeling the breeze right now. They literally got a sign on the cage saying, come buy some wool, bro. That is crazy, bro. Crazy. Y'all, they got some gourmet popcorn in this joint. Damn, yeah. cinnamon toast. We about to see what this cinnamon toast popcorn do real quick, y'all. Oh, yeah. This shit torch. All right, y'all. So right now, as y'all see, I'm in the food court. You feel me? This is where all them animals that you seen, they get slaughtered and they get served, you feel me? We here right now, we gonna see if they got some good food here, you feel me? Because they got the fresh animals. The animals over there, the food over here. We gonna see what's up with it real quick. So right here, y'all, they got some monkey bread. Not gonna lie, I wanna try it, but I ain't see nobody else buy it, you feel me? And if I'm the only person that buy it, and then they calling it monkey bread, you know what I'm, where I'm, what I'm getting at, bro. I don't want them to think nothing. This might be, this might be a sneak disc. I ain't eating that. So over here, they got some crab cake sandwiches, y'all, and some crab mac and cheese. Y'all know I'm a Maryland boy, bro. So I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna see what's up with this crab cake sandwich. I'm gonna let you know if that don't go crazy. Mac and cheese about watery than a motherfucker. I'm gonna pass on that. I got a little bit of boom boom sauce. 
Put that boo boo sauce up on it. Let's see what's up with it real quick, y'all. The crab cake is still kind of mushy. You see, super mushy. He ain't, he ain't fried up good enough. You see, these are falling apart. It's like eating a cookie that you ain't bake all the way. That cookie dough gonna be still doughy. You know what I'm saying? Normal bun, but that boom boom sauce look crazy. See what's up with it. Y'all see, it's falling apart. Mush. This right here, I'm not really sure if I want to go get a crab cake or I went to the chum bucket and got some chum. Oh my goodness! You feel me? Because this don't, this is like a, a fake ass crabby patty. You know what I'm saying? It's falling apart, everybody. It's straight fillers, straight mush, and it's not even cooked all the way. It's a solid three out of ten, bro. I'm from Maryland. I had some good crab cakes, man. It's some bullshit. I can't believe I paid $16 for that, y'all. So honestly, y'all, I'm disappointed in that farm show yesterday. It was a waste of money. It was a waste of a drive. The food wasn't good. And I'm disappointed in the person that recommended I go out there and said the food was righteous because it wasn't. I was thinking going to the farm show, y'all, I was going to be able to get some real good, like, ribs or something like that. They didn't have none of that. They had chicken tenders, fries, milkshakes. They had some BS there, honestly, bro. I found a spot called 250 Texas Barbecue, bro. They got all types of briskets and just delicious foods, bro. Sausages, ribs. I haven't had ribs since I was a kid. I haven't had ribs in years, bro. Y'all, look at this. Sheesh. It say it's the best barbecue restaurant in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. We gonna see if it really is. I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. I kind of feel bad for them farm animals from yesterday, bro. Did you see them cows udders, bro? They were drained, bro. Like they were so wrinkled and so drained. It's crazy, bro. Like, have you ever been effing your bride and you empty? You already nutted three or four times. And you like, baby, I'm done. And she just keep going. It's like, come on, baby. <laughs> I don't want no more. I'm empty. You know what I mean? Imagine how that cow is feeling. That's exactly how it's feeling right now. My boy's license plate says L Sexy on it, y'all. Well, I don't understand why people put like those custom tags and stuff like that. Because think about if you're trying to get away from somebody. They already know you're in a pickup truck. They know that your license plate says L Sexy. So, bruh, like, you driving, I'm going to be able to spot that guy out anywhere now. I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, that's that guy with the L Sexy. You feel me? Like, I don't know why people do that. It's retarded, honestly. All right, y'all, I'm out Riverdale right now. At the this is the best barbecue in the DMV area, bro. We gonna find out right here, right now. Not gonna lie, they got this show from last night in the cut. Sheesh. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm pretty excited right now. Like, that jump was looking righteous in them images, bro. Like, I gotta tap into that. Train going by, 52. So they sold out a turkey, chicken, and chopped beef sandwiches, y'all. Bro, it smells crazy in here. That barbecue smell, smell righteous. Hey, what you think about the food here? Bro, the meat is well seasoned. It's hot. The sides are good. Uh, uh, it's hot. Everything, everything in here is pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Bro, he's showing me right now, bro. They won a Grammy, bro. You see the Grammy right there? You see he's in the Washington Post. Like, this is some real authentic food. He really doing his thing, bro. You season that meat up real good? Pause. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you can find us here in Riverdale Park, Maryland. Uh, we cook with 100% wood. No electricity, no gas, no shortcuts at all, all right? No shortcuts, y'all. I'm excited about this. I the smokehouse right now. Uh, we are closed tomorrow, so we ended up the cooking process for the day. But as you can see here, we're cooking with 100% wood, 1,000 pounds of prestige. This is our main ingredient. It's not actually the meats. It's actually the, uh, the It's actually wood. the wood. Wow. wow. So I paid $109, y'all. You know what they say, you get what you pay for. He said that they don't use electric at all. Everything is made straight, smoked. Everything's made with the wood, bro. This don't gonna go crazy. I hope so, at least. All right, 
with y'all. I got what I said I was going to get. We gonna see what's up with it real quick. All right, you guys. So we got a little bit of brisket right here. We got some cornbread right there. Sheesh. And then we got this beef rib right here. This thing is huge, y'all. Let's not forget we also got some macaroni and cheese. And that macaroni and cheese is looking crazy. So we're gonna start with the cornbread, you all. We're gonna see if the cornbread hit. So the cornbread is soft. And as soon as your saliva hit it, it starts to dissolve, y'all. The cornbread is nice and sweet. I've been to some places before, y'all, where the cornbread is kind of, the cornbread is kind of bland, but now this is some sweet cornbread. All I need is a little bit of butter, y'all. Cornbread hit. Now we got the macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese looks nice and cheesy. It got a little bit of breadcrumbs on it. The breadcrumbs are that they're nice and baked up real nice, y'all. Let's see what it's tasting like. Did you see it's nice and cheesy. So the macaroni and cheese is flavorful. You can tell that they added some seasoning to this. It's not just butter, milk, and cheese. You know how some people do. They go ahead and they put a little bit of slices of cheese inside the pan, put it inside of the oven, and call it a day. Nah, that's not what this is. Look at that cheese pool. Look at it. Damn. That shit dripping. Ooh. How, how this is looking, man? That don't looking cheesy. Mac and cheese. Yeah, how that looking thing look? Cheesy. Yeah, you heard him. He said this don't looking cheesy. Hey, get this, man. This don't hit. me stop. Mac and cheese hit. I'm, I'm honestly impressed with the mac and cheese. I'm impressed, man. I went to that barbecue place in Bethesda, y'all. Y'all seen the video. I don't know if this is cheesy mashed potatoes or this is macaroni and cheese. Look how mushy this is. Super mushy. These noodles is overcooked. They mac and cheese was disgusting. This mac and cheese got me looking forward to the brisket and the rib because if they, if they can make macaroni and cheese, they can make anything. Ooh, here comes the brisket. Here come the brisket. This is the type of stuff that they should have had at the farm show. But they ain't had this at the farm show. Ooh, you see the brisket. You see how the edges is nice and charred. Ooh. The smell is crazy. The smell is intense. The meat is juicy. Look at, ooh, look, look at the juice dripping out of it. Look, look, you see it? Ooh, damn. Let's see what this brisket do. Cause that thing juicy. It's tender. It's moist. But look. And need some sauce on it. Not gonna lie to y'all. We got some barbecue sauce right here. I'm spitting down. We got some barbecue sauce right here. They got the spicy one and they got the normal one. I'ma throw a little bit of this spicy stuff up on it. There we go. Cause I'ma be honest with y'all. It's juicy, but it was kind of bland. Like it needed something. So the barbecue sauce has got a tad bit of spice to it. It's kind of, it's kind of bitter a little bit. It's not like that sweet baby rays where you're getting all that sweet barbecue sauce. You can tell it's got to be homemade or something, because it's not super sweet. Like I said, it's a little bit bitter, a little bit tart, but it. Hit. But if y'all want some juicy beef, some juicy meat, this is definitely what you want to come for. It don't got a whole bunch of flavor to it, but it's moist and tender. And a lot of people, that's what they come for. Like, with steaks and stuff like that. A lot of people want filet mignon, but filet mignon don't have a whole lot of flavor to it, if you know what I mean. People getting it for the tenderness, so I think that's why people getting this. Last but not least, y'all. We got the beef rib. Dang, that's a big rib. You see it's nice and charred. This rib bigger than my rib. <laughs> For the rib, y'all, we're gonna use their signature barbecue sauce. Look at it just dripping up on that. Damn. I haven't had ribs in years. And this right here, y'all, 
This is actually what I was expecting to see at the farm show. Stuff like this. They had all them cows in there. Titties sucked up. All of that stuff dried up. But no ribs. Let's see what's up. They seasoned this up real nice. The rib got more seasoning than the brisket. The brisket was more tender than the rib, but this rib got a whole lot of seasoning. Mm. Look how it just falls apart. Every bite is just falling apart. Mm. Look at it. It's a little bit dry. But when you're talking about flavor, it's so flavorful. That's amazing. You see it, right? It looks crazy, right, ma'am? You heard him, man. He's walking by. He's like, damn. That shit look good. I might have gone in and buy me one. He was geeked up by this. It's just, fall look, as I'm lifting it, it's just falling off the bone, bro. Hold on. This is a good rip. This is extremely good rip. Mm. Now I see why they won, won that Grammy. Anytime you got meat falling off the bone like that, you deserve a fucking Grammy. They don't even got stuff like this at the farm shows, bro. Country dudes all the way in the country with all that cattle and don't know what to do with the cattle. We got a Spanish dude owning a business that knows what to do with the cattle, bro. He hooked his cattle up. Bro, you see this? Oh, that's the dino bone, right? Bro, this shit is tender. Yeah, that shit, that shit fall off the bone. That shit fall smooth off the bone, bro. This shit is making me mad right now, bro. That's how good this shit is, bro. Like, damn, why it had to be this good, dog? I spent all of that bread. And the thing is, I don't regret spending none of it, because I'm gonna do it again. When I, whenever I want ribs, bro, I'm gonna come here for the ribs. Fall smooth off the bone. Damn. Be honest with y'all. The rib. The rib's gonna get a 10 out of 10. Brisket. Get a brisket like a 8.59. You know what I mean? Cornbread. I'm gonna get a cornbread. Probably like a 7.5. Because I've had better cornbread before. But the cornbread wasn't bad. The mac and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is gonna get like a, a solid eight. But this, this is gonna get like a 10. Cause they did this the right way, y'all. They did the right way. It's literally still falling off the bone. Like as you lifting, it's just, you see it. Just fall smooth off of it, bro. Smooth off of it. And I told y'all it was kind of dry. That was dry on the ends because look, the inside, I'm not gonna lie, the inside juicy. Look, you see it. Oh yeah. The inside moist. I told y'all it was dry. The inside ain't dry. Look at the inside. So y'all gonna see, look. This is where it's juicy at. Me, when I said it was dry, I was talking about, I was talking about the skin. The skin on them first couple bites was dry, but look, that meat inside, look at it, woo. I ain't gonna tell y'all what this feeling like. Damn, hold on, baby. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I shouldn't be touching that there, bro, because it's making me want to do some things right now that I shouldn't be thinking about. I'm supposed to be eating food, bro. 
but it's making me wanna, I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say, bro. So I'm gonna be honest with y'all right now. If you're looking for like sweet barbecue sauce, ribs, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people like ribs because of the barbecue sauce on the ribs, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get that here. You're not gonna get like some sweet ribs because their barbecue sauce isn't sweet. I'm gonna be honest, if they would have put some <clears throat> some sweet baby rays on that, it would have took it to the next level. People going here for the juicy tender meat, they're not really going here for that that sweet sauce. You know what I mean? People coming here for the tenderness. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for tender, 10 hour smoked meat. So yeah, if you like sweet barbecue sauce, you're not gonna like it. Y'all, I wonder if this homeless dude is okay. Like he's just laid out right there, bro. Like, I feel like if it was a normal person laid out like that, people would go over there and make sure he good. But since he's homeless, nobody, like, everybody's just walking by him, bro. Like, I feel like I should go over there. But, like, I don't want to just approach a random person, bro. Like, I might approach him and he might flip out or something. You know what I mean? I'm going to go over there, bro. Only reason why I'm going to go over there, bro, is because, like, if that was me in that position and I was laid out somewhere, I would want people to check up on me and make sure I'm good. You feel what I'm saying? Yo! Hey, you okay? You okay? Yo, he said he's good, everybody. Yo, I'm gonna I'm give you some bread, bro. You know what I'm saying? Be safe, man. Twenty dollars, bro. You okay? Yeah, bro. Thank you. All right, be safe, man. But you gotta look out for the people, bro. You feel me? Most most people they would have just left him there. I mean, he good, but you got you gotta check up on your people, bro. You know what I'm saying? If that was my dad or something like that, I would want them to check up on me.